Welcome back, everybody. Um, thank you for tuning in for another webisode, episode, YouTube get together. Um, I appreciate you guys. And let me just tell you, I am overjoyed at the response that I have received from you guys. Um, just engaging with me, kind of being open and honest enough to share your stories and allowing me the opportunity to give you my take on it and kind of just give you my advice based on my own experience. That means in some way we've developed some type of level of trust, which I do not take for granted, which I do appreciate and which I want to continue to build um, based on the information and the topics and stuff that we discuss. So thank you for everybody who has reached out to me, um, who has, again, shared their stories, continue to do so. You know, this will also help me come up with different content for topics and things like that, um, as long as I know that you guys are um, interested. Okay, so see... This is that this is that ghetto shit. So this is what I'm still learning, right? I'm not a YouTube guru just yet. I don't know if I'm looking at this side or this side. And I know they said don't look at myself because then it makes it look like I'm looking at myself. So I'll look here. Um, yeah, I've just been having a really good time, y'all. Like just um coming up with different ideas and things like that. And and just so it's clear, the purpose of this channel um specifically uh is to touch base with ladies of all ages discussing things um that affect us most as specifically women of color but i guess more specifically to matters of the heart and love and relationship because i feel as women and this is my page so this is my opinion this is not for the feminist movement and for women that feel like i don't need no man and woo woo woo, woo but i'm good without them that's fine for you and good for you no shade for that but I personally feel that as a woman, we are enhanced as well as the man that we choose if he's the right man or the man that chooses us if he's the right man. I feel like we are duly enhanced and I feel like we really reach our optimal potential when we're partnered with the right partner. Um, and it doesn't have to be female, male. It could be female, female or whoever your counterpart is, your significant other, somebody that uplifts you in helps to elevate you and take you to that next level and that's on both sides and it's about balance yin and yang you know so i really feel like there's power within that and i feel like as women we hold the power in really kind of making the family a family really making the partnership what it's supposed to be but in order for us to get there it's a lot of damage control and and things that we have to do within ourselves before we even get to that point a lot of times we're just throwing ourselves into relationships and situations with you know men and we haven't really done the homework as uh mother ayanla would say ayanla would say you know you have to do the work like you know you really have to start peeling back layers and start figuring out who am i why am i the way that i am why am i so hard to love why is it hard for me to love other people why is it so difficult for me to take accountability or you know you really have to start asking yourself like those hard questions um and i think that is the gateway to opening yourself up in a way where a man can receive you and be inspired to really love you the way you need to be loved so i'm trying to give that game you understand what i'm saying speaking of sorry just a shout out this brand that you guys see me wearing broken dangerous this is my boyfriend's brand um he has everything from t-shirts um hoodies jerseys jackets um dad hats um his website will be up very very soon if you are interested in this t-shirt they are for sale again he has hoodies all kind of stuff just message me and i will make sure to get you his information and instagram as a matter of fact his instagram is at still tipping s-t-i-l-l-t-i-p-p-i-n-2 still tipping too make sure to reach out to him and you can get your own broken dangerous shirt okay if you broke and you dangerous okay now for the topic that you guys have come for today um it's kind of dope so you know we're gonna get off of the baby mama baby daddy genre for today and we're gonna talk about something to me that um i don't know like if, if y'all ready you know what i'm saying if y'all ready to get this game you know um, I'm going to be giving y'all the top five tips on how to be a female player, player, play on, player, play on, player. I'm going to give y'all the five tips on how to be a female player. Okay. Um, now let me preface this with saying, I don't even really believe in the word player, I guess, or especially as it pertains to being a female player. Um, especially also as it connects to what the, the general term would mean if it was for a man. 
just understand that what men do is not necessarily what women should do. We are made different. We are created different, um, you know, biologically. Like, we are not the same. We are two t totally different, you know what I'm saying, sections. Um, and I think that definitely plays a part in um, how we interface with each other, like male and female. <coughs> Pardon me. Again, this is my channel. If you want to do everything that a man can do and you would like, oh, if women hear me roar and I'm going to do whatever I wanted to do. And f it's funny enough, I used to be one of those women. If he could do what I could do with it, it's, it's nothing that a man could do that I can't do. Like if, if, he, if it's good enough for him, it's good enough for me. It sounds good, sis. It sounds real good. But in the world and the earthly realm that we are experiencing in this time, since the beginning of time, it's never really been cool for a woman to mob and try to move like a man would move, you know? But that's up to you. But I'm going to give you this game based on my experience. Okay. So, tip number one for how to be a female player, okay? Always look your best, okay? Now, for some, this may go without saying, you know, because at the end of the day, you want to kind of look good just for you. I think that as women, we should definitely take pride in the way that we look. And it's one of the fun parts about being a woman. We have to deal with so much, you know, as far as just being a woman um, on our day to day. And like, part of the reward is, you know, we get to, you know, dress up and we, whatever that means. If that means that you like to wear heels or you like me, you like to wear sneakers and, you know, that kind of stuff or get your hair done and get your nails done. Like whatever it is that makes you feel confident, that makes you feel pretty. I think that we get to take advantage of that. And I think we should take advantage of that. Um, men are visual creatures. I'm sure you've heard that a thousand and one times. This is not nothing new under the sun, I hope. Um, you know, and yes, we would love for men to be able to look past our exterior and connect with us directly off the bat. Nine times out of ten, that's not going to happen. You know what I'm saying? And if it does happen to you, the, you that's like an exceptional case. But I feel like typically men are going to see the aesthetic first, right? And that doesn't mean that your aesthetic has to be so far off base that it's, you know, not who you are. You want to baby be able to enhance your natural um, attributes, the things that make you stand out. If you have beautiful eyes, play those up. If you have beautiful hair, play that up. Um, you know, flawless skin. Don't be caking makeup on your face. You know what I'm saying? Keep yourself as natural as possible. Whatever your qualities are, if you're curvy, you know what I'm saying? Show off your, your curves in the right way, in a tasteful way. You know what I'm saying? Um... It's a girl, uh, which uh, Maxie J. I used to do this podcast called Off the Record at Lace. Yeah! That's a whole other story, child. Anyway, um, there's a style designer named Maxie J. Who is local to like the L.A. area, but I'm sure she's known, you know, um, nationwide. Um, and I think her stuff is called. I can't think of the name of her clothes right now. Um, maybe I'll link it in the bio. I don't know. But we interviewed her, and she said one of her main style tips was, you know, she doesn't show stuff on the top and the bottom so if you're going to do if you're going to do something where you're showing cleavage and the girls are out you know what i'm saying you're having a party up top keep the bottom very simple so maybe you know you're showing a little breast but no stomach and no leg you know what i'm saying or maybe you're showing all leg you're giving thigh you're giving leg but the top part is covered up maybe you have on like a little kimono or a blazer or something or whatever to kind of keep you a little more covered up top you don't want to have too much hanging out you know what I'm saying? And unfortunately, it's just the way that it looks. It's kind of not unfair. I mean, it's kind of not fair. Pardon me. But the curvier you are, the 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 less you can kind of afford to dress in a certain way without getting like certain types of attention. You know what I'm saying? So it's really important you learn how to dress your body because if you got the curves, you're still going to be able to see them if you fully clothed, okay? And you look classier, you look like the clothes are probably more expensive or whatever. It's just a better look. So I would definitely say invest in your look. Again, you don't have to have, you know, clothes and stuff that are the highest label. It is not about the ticket. It's about your style and how you're able to put things together. If you know that you don't have just that natural knack of style and keen sense of style where you look at other people and say, dang, how does she put that together? Start reading magazines, fashion magazines, okay? And fashion magazines are all online now. So you can go to L.com. Um, Mademoiselle um, is a good one. Um, Vogue. Okay? We're talking about high fashion. And no, you don't have to look like you just stepped off of a runway. But they're going to give you ideas and in, in, in kind of different scopes of 
what fashion really is because it really is a science when you break it down when you see fashion week and all of this stuff overseas and in paris and milan and all these different places it's big money these are industries that's not no lightweight industry these are billion dollar industries so um Definitely look into that, you know, and just, you know, get ideas and find different ways to make your own style. You want to be an individual. You want to be unique. You want to stand out based on you being different. You know what I'm saying? So develop your look, get your hair did, get your nails did um, the best, the best way that you know how. And yeah, make sure that you're on point, right? Okay, boom. Okay, you guys, so step number two, okay, on how to be a female player, okay, um, equip yourself with knowledge, right? Okay, so once he does get past the aesthetic, right, the exterior or whatever, and again, we're talking about attracting multiple suitors. So if you want to be at the top of your A game so that way you have options, you need to make yourself, you know what I'm saying, sharper than the rest. You know what I'm saying? So these, again, are tools not just to catch one man. This is to catch the interest of many different suitors. Then you have the option to choose who it is that you're interested in. But these are just some tools to help get you in position to be able to play the game. Okay? So, again, step number two would be equip yourself with knowledge and knowledge meaning you know pick up some books sis okay now let's say you're in college and you're studying to be a um a lawyer i don't know um so you have a lot of knowledge about i don't know like law stuff <laughs> You can tell I did not go to college for that. But whatever, you know, information you know about, you know, the legal industry or profession, you know, be able to bring that to the table. Wherever your strong points are, sell those. Be able to talk about those because it's just going to make you look really, really smart. It's not going to make you look smart. You are actually smart. You're just showcasing that. And you're letting that man know. Never, ever play yourself dumb. I hope that goes without saying, but you never want to dumb yourself down. You always want to maintain a really high level of excellence. And, and being true to yourself and if you smart as hell then let that show if he can't handle that then obviously he's not somebody that should even be in your dating pool um so if if you're you know again going to law school if you're studying um you know to be uh in public relations you know talk about your uh endeavors with that and your you know um hopes and aspirations of you know doing having a pr firm or whatever in hollywood or Whatever it is that you know a lot about, that you've gathered knowledge about knowledge about, and that you're passionate about, that's what you want to bring to the forefront. That's what you want to always have trigger ready, like in the back of your mind when you're having a conversation with somebody, if you happen to meet someone or as you're dating different men, right? So let's say you got a couple men, you know what I'm saying? When you start dating them, you want to have something to talk about. Once you catch them with the aesthetic, you're also going to want to have something to talk about now. Also, it's also good, I think, to read books about other things that you don't know about. Now, let's say it's a specific guy that you're talking to or dating that you like, right? And you end up finding out through conversation, text, or whatever that he's interested in a specific thing, right? You need to go get some books about that thing. Start doing some research. Read a couple of articles. Do you have to be a rocket scientist as it pertains to that particular topic? No, but if it's sports or something that he likes... Figure out who, who now, and this is for me, like foreign language, because I don't do the sports. I'm not the sports girl. Maybe my boyfriend keeps telling me that one day I will probably love it. I just have to give it a chance. I don't think it's happening. <laughs> we'll see. But, you know, if it's just as, as much as, you know, just figuring out who won the last big game or something like that, or who the, the newest player that just got drafted to his favorite team and, you know, talking about some of his stats or whatever from college. I don't know. That's the kind of stuff that kind of just lets them know, damn, like, not only is she taking interest in me, you know, but, you know, she knows a little something. She's sharp. She's her ear to the street. She kind of knows what's going on. You know what I'm saying? And then you just bleed whatever it is that you really do know about. And then it just kind of come all comes together. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, read a book, read an article. Um, keep yourself sharp with current events. Let's say he's really politically involved, you know what I'm saying? And he, you know, is really, really passionate about um, justice for people of color and things like that. Um, Black Lives Matter movements, you know, um, you know, find a way to, to find out more information about that. If he's involved with different organizations or things like that, maybe figure out how you can be involved. You just want to make yourself really knowledgeable. And I think that... Um, you know, I think that just helps to give you different dimension and help you stand out, um, you know, apart from the rest. Keep it 100, okay? It's 2019, soon to be 2020. 
we are in the era of the Instagram model, of the Instagram chick, this, that, and the third. Um, and a lot of these women are not very sharp. <laughs> not to say all, because there are some that are very sharp. They just happen to be sharp and, and bomb, and they're blessed. Um, but there are a lot of them that aren't. And so you want to be able to come to the table with something else. You know what I'm saying? You want to be able to come to the table with something else to kind of, again, set yourself apart. You're going to be able to catch the attention of multiple people if you are being your authentic self, standing out apart from the rest. Okay, Okay, guys. So step number three on how to be a female player. All right. Um, let the men that you're dating, okay, know that you're dating other men. Let the men that you're dating know that you're dating other men. So this is once you, okay, I look good. Boom. Okay. I look good, so I'm catching them. So-and-so just asked me for my number. I went out with my girlfriends or whatever. So-and-so had me up at the bar. They thought I was cute. Boom. They want to take me out. So now you're catching them, right? You you pumping gas at the gas station. You just attracting them. And then you're confident. And so you're feeling yourself. And men love confidence. It's really not about how you look per se if you don't have the confidence, right? But you have the confidence because you look good. And so... You know, guys are interested or whatever, right? And so finally, you're starting to talk to them and things like that, vet them, and um, you're going out with them, right? And so you're going out with them and stuff like that, and you're, you know, getting the knowledge about all of them and figuring out what they like based on the ones that you like, all of the stuff, right? And so then as you're getting to know them, though, right, especially the ones that you like, let's say you've got a strong rotation of about four, Okay. I think four is pretty solid, you know what I'm saying? Because that's a lot, you know, especially if you're talking about you got a career, you got aspirations, you got other stuff to do. Who got time to talk to like 10, 15 men? I don't. That's completely out. But let's say you have a solid four that you're rotating that you really like, right? You need to let all of them know that you're dating the other. Okay, now, of course, you're not going to be dumb and give them the name like, yes, yeah, this guy that I met, you know, he's really, really hot. And um, he works in marketing um, at BET. And <laughs> you know what I'm saying? we're not going to do that. You're just letting him know that you are on the market and there are other men that are interested. And you also don't want to like play that up too much because then it looks like you're trying to make him jealous and that looks corny. So you don't want to do that. Um, it can even kind of be on a if he ask basis. It may not even be something that you have to throw out there unless you can do it really subtly and smooth. Again, otherwise it just feels like you're reaching. Like you're trying to make him jealous and like, you know, jump to the jump to the punch. And all dudes always automatically feel like every woman is trying to strangle him into a relationship and lock him down. So if you come with that, it's just gonna seem like a tactic. And they're already on the defense. And they get that from a lot of girls all the time. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of men want me. It's a dude that they tried to holler at me when I went to woo woo woo. And he like, bitch, so what? It was bitches that wanted to holler at me too. So what? So don't be that girl. Um, but again, if you can find a way to subtly kind of creep, slip, slip, slip that in there. <laughs> if you can find a way to subtly slip that in there, do it. Or again, if he asks you. Now, this is something that's definitely going to come up if he like you. If he likes you, he's definitely going to say, um, you know, so how many dudes blowing up your phone? Like who, who in your DMs and da, 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 da. just little cute, playful stuff like that. And then, you know, at that time you find a way to say, um, you know, you know, it's a couple dudes or whatever that I talk to that I'm dating, you know, none of them are serious or whatever. And, you know, they're just friends. We, we just friends right now, you know, nothing more serious than friends. It's just friendship. But, you know, I have a couple of guys that, you know, are interested, you know, trying to get some of my time. Boom. That's it. You know what I'm saying? And that's, and what that's going to do is of course, put in his mind like, damn, well, I need to figure out what my position is. You know, either I'm about to well, I can't even afford to waste her time because she already got other options. So I'm going to be jumping at the bait. Whatever it is that I'm trying to do, I'm going to need to try to do it quick. You know, and if it's him trying to just, you know, have sex with you, then that's going to come up really quick too. You're going to be able to weed that out and see that too because he's going to be working really, really fast to accomplish that or get that done. Or, um, you know, he's going to be really aggressively trying to take you out, get to know you, spend time with you. So that way he's standing out uh, uh, aside from the rest. You know what I'm saying? So, and it just gives you value. It shows your value. Um, and again, men are attracted to women that know their value, that know their worth, that are confident. And they know when it's genuine and they know what is fake. 
a lot of women try to fake their confidence. A lot of women try to fake their worth and know and their knowing a value and men can see right through it. Don't feel like women are the only ones that are intuitive. Yes, we are in certain ways, but men can sniff out an insecure woman like a dog at the goddamn, you know, trap house, crack house. You know what I'm saying? So just be aware. Okay, step number four, you guys. Okay, we're getting close. We're getting close. Step number four in how to be a female player, okay? Do not dirty Mac on other women, okay? Let me say it again for people in the back. Do not dirty Mac or hate the hater on other women. Okay, so I just said that you're going to come to the dude or not come to the dude, but if the dude, if it happens to come up like, you know, are you dating somebody, whatever, you tell him, yeah, you know, I have a couple of guys that are interested, nothing serious. Now, if he flips to you, okay, and tells you like, oh, yeah, you know, well, it's a couple of females or whatever that I, uh, you know, that I'm interested in. I'm dating a couple, you know, it's it's nothing serious. So I'm in the same boat as you. Um, You know, I'm just looking for for something that I can really feel genuinely connected to. But as of now, everything is just copacetic. It's nothing really serious right now, okay? Now, women are naturally territorial. We all know that. It's not nothing that I have to say. It goes without saying, if you're a woman of a particular age, you already kind of know that comes with the territory, especially if we like a guy who's ours is ours. It is what it is. Um, but when you're dating, you can't feel like you have the liberty to be able to date and do whatever you want to do. And then the dudes that you're dating or whatever can't do what they want to do. Right? Like, just like you're a hot commodity or whatever, hopefully you're attracting someone else that's a hot commodity. If they're a hot commodity, it's going to be other women that are interested in them too. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to be the it all be all. And just be clear for those of y'all that are too overly confident it's always going to be a girl that's prettier than you, thicker than you, or slimmer, skinnier, snatched than you, longer hair than you, um, you know, different complexion than you, or whatever. It's, there's, it's always going to be a woman that's different. You know what I'm saying? It's always going to be a woman that's subjectively prettier in this person's eyes or, or opposed to this person's eyes. It just, you know what I'm saying? It just depends. Um, so never be overly confident to where you feel like, you beating out other girls in some type of race. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm basically trying to get to. Don't don't be so consumed with other women and how they run in their route and how they doing what it is that they doing. Focus on you and the game that you're running, and which is really not game because this is just, you know, tools. Um, but focus more on that. Don't be focused on what the other girl is doing. And just the same way as you don't want to try to make him jealous because it seems corny. Also, look out for if he tries to make you jealous with that because that's kind of corny. That's that's kind of whack. If he's the kind of, you know, dude that says, um, yeah, you know, I took this girl out the other day or whatever. You know what I'm saying? She just been blowing me up since then. Like, I don't really know. Like, I guess she just really just feeling me like that is fucking corny. Like, don't like end up with that dude you know what i'm saying to me that's like a super turn off like why are you even telling me your personal business about this other young lady you know what i'm saying because if if i happen to like you or feel like our relationship or friendship i'm sorry it's going somewhere you about to be telling the next chick about you about me or whatever it is that i said or did excuse me y'all i feel so greasy okay Back to the regularly uh, scheduled program. Yeah, like, it's it's just whack. Like, you don't want to even be with that dude. But, um, you know, let's say he does share a little bit of something without it being incriminating or without it being, um, you know, degrading to the young lady, whoever it is that he may be talking about, right? Don't use that as your opportunity to hate on her. Say, so, yeah, you know, I have a... F if he could say something like this, yeah, I have a friend or whatever I went out with the other day and... um. She was telling me about her alma mater. Uh, is that how you say it? Alma mater? Alma mater? Mata? Somebody that went to college and went to the, you know, let me know. So let's say she's talking about that. And, you know, she's saying, um, you know, she did some charity work there or whatever. She says she's really involved with, you know, the community at her, um, at her college. And, you know, she's looking to try to see if she can start a new organization where she can help out young girls in the community. Yeah, let's say he's just talking about something like that or whatever, which is a nice favorable compliment he's saying about another young lady. Do not 
take that as your opportunity to then say, oh, that's nice. Okay, well, you know, you sound like you, you know, that sounds really, really good. This sounds like something that you might be interested in. I, nothing snarky, nothing corny like that. You know what I'm saying? Don't be a hater because that's where that hate will seep out. You know what I'm saying? Because then you feel like, damn, like that might be some competition. Don't let that curve you. You are going to lose. You can't be a player and a hater at the same time, okay? Play a hater, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, unless you are a player hater, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't be a player and a hater at the same time. And that's why sometimes being a player is not for all women because a lot of women can't deal. A lot of women can't withstand and can't take not even being in competition with other women, but just holding their own and not worrying about other women. Women are always so consumed about what she's wearing, how her hair is, what she said to him, where they went, da 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 da, -da. Like, that's a lack of confidence. Focus on you, girl. Focus on what you're bringing to the table. Focus on you, okay? And if he happens to bring up another friend that he is interested in or dating, don't, th don't take that as an opportunity to hate on her. It's, again, and we're talking about if he's talking about her favorably um, in a way that's not degrading. Um, because again, that's just corny and it's always just a way to be able to, it's, it's a way for him to try to make you jealous or whatever, which I'm not talking about that, but just don't be a hater. Okay. Worry about yourself. Focus on yourself. Focus on what you bring into the table and everything will be all good. Okay. Okay. You guys, step number five. This is the final step. We finally got here. Um, how to be a female player. Tip number five. Okay. This is the big one. If you do not listen to this tip, okay, everything is canceled. The whole video is canceled if you miss this step, okay? So make sure you're listening up, okay? Make sure everybody's listening. You tuned in? Do not have sexual relations with any of these men. Do not, I'm going to say it again, do not have sexual relations with any of of the men that you were dating okay remember when i had said <laughs> that women and men we are biologically wired and created differently it is for a reason and we are not equipped okay we're not innately and biologically equipped to deal with sexually connecting with multiple people especially at the same time okay it's outer body I'm not judging. Again, this is my page. These are my opinions. Whatever. Um, I'm not judging women that choose to live their life or whatever where they feel like, hey, I can. I can sleep with like, you know, 10 dudes or whatever at the same time if that's what I choose to do or whatever. If a man could do it, I could do it. Kudos, boo. Like, do you, you know, get your niggas, fuck them, do whatever else it is that you do. Excuse my language. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But... In my mind, my school of thought, it's a no-go. And you should not be trying to hold yourself to the same standard as a man would hold himself to that same standard. And if you are sexually engaging in relationship, sexually engaging in these friendships, because you're not even in relationships with these dudes yet, you're just dating them. If you're, can, if you're engaging in sexual situations with these dudes, it derails everything because... With the tools that I gave you, you're able to think straight and implement those tools without any stress. If you are sexually engaged, once we open up our bodies, our mind, our soul, I don't care if anybody want to downplay it and make it seem like it's not that serious. You better look up soul ties and spiritual connections and all that stuff. It, it very much so is that serious. And once you open up yourself to a man in that way, you are connected to him, whether you like it or not. His energy has seeped into your system and into your subconscious and into your body and into your mind. And you have become one with that man. Now, what you look like, having that connection with that one man and then taking that or whatever and going to the next man and then the next man and then the next man and then the next try and, and i'm talking about simultaneously i'm not talking over a period of time let's say you date one you dated him two months and then you found out you didn't like him okay so now i'm dating somebody else i'm not talking about that it's no judgment i'm talking about consecutively and if you calling yourself a female player that means you got options now, I said four is a good rotation to juggle or whatever with really getting to know different men and having some options or whatever. You want to go out on a date or whatever. You don't got to go out with the same one. Like, okay, I'm tired of you. I want to go out with you now. Boom. 
but it doesn't have to be four. You could be dating, let's say you hot. And it's, it's niggas calling, like, really trying to see what's good. You know what I'm saying? Let's say you got seven to ten. Dudes really on your line trying to see what's up. You about to sleep with all seven, even if you slept with half. You know what I'm saying? It's just not going to be a good look. Um, and, of course, that lowers your value as far as just, like, being um, a candidate for, you know, dudes or whatever to want to take you seriously. If that's what you're looking to do. You know, I would hope that's what you're looking to do. I hope that ultimately the end game would be to, you know, I'm, I'm dating different men because I want to kind of figure out, you know, what's the kind of best man for me? Um, what kind of man, you know, lights me up and inspires me and, and, and keeps me interested and motivated and stimulated mentally and physically and all of those things. You know, you don't know unless you are giving yourself a chance to get to know different people. Um but again, if you sleeping with these guys, that completely derails the whole process. Because, of course, again, we're getting emotionally attached. Now we asking questions. And that cool, calm, collected demeanor that we had three months ago is not the same demeanor that we have post him smashing. Because now we, you know, where is he at? Now we on his Instagram. We trying to figure out what this means. Every girl that's in his comments, we, we looking at that. And it's just a horrible look. You better off just holding it down keeping yourself together and it just helps you to remain more focused in the process you know what i'm saying focus on you you know what i'm saying don't get into having sexual relationships with these dudes it's gonna derail everything wait until you find a one that you really really vibe with you know what i'm saying because once you find that one that you really vibe with for real that has really put in some work to get to know you and to to show some vulnerability you know what I'm saying? Y'all don't necessarily have to be in a relationship. Again, it's no judgment. But at least if it's a guy that you feel convicted with knowing, like, I really like him. I know I really like him. I've taken time to get to know him. I know he likes me. And then you can kind of take it from there. And then you should eliminate, you know, or at least postpone the other dudes that you're dating. You know, but that's a whole other video. I'm giving y'all the tools on how to be a player. We're not even thinking about settling down. We're thinking about churching and, and playing and, and, having, and having fly niggas on your line and learning how to handle them and deal with them or whatever like a boss would. You know? Okay, you guys, my video had cut off or whatever. I had to read, delete some of my apps. So, again, y'all, that's the top five ways to be a female player. In my book, this is my game. This is out of my playbook. I'm giving y'all some of this information for y'all that are interested in being able to date multiple men, but doing it the right way without smutting yourself out. We talking about doing it classy and in an orderly fashion, okay? I also have a really big announcement for you guys. Um, because of the support, because of the engagement that I've received, and just how seriously I want to really be able to take my page and the content that I bring to you guys and, you know, the topics that I'm discussing, um, I am revamping, okay? Drum roll. I am revamping the Baby Mama Chronicle. Revamping the Baby Mama Chronicles, that page will be up and going before 2020. I would ask all of you that support what I do and that are looking for more content, please subscribe to my new channel. It is going to be the Baby Mama Chronicles. Um, I will be creating that. Um, probably by the time I release this video, the link will be in my bio. So go ahead and click the link, okay, um, and add that um to your favorites or see i'm so old on the youtube shit i don't know what is it called just uh subscribe subscribe duh subscribe to the new page okay um because that's where all the content is gonna be baby mama chronicles we about to reshift the narrative of what baby mama means we about to take away that negative connotation and all that which was the original intent of me doing it many 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 moons ago but we about to bring all the gaming content right to that page so make sure to subscribe to baby mama chronicles make sure to like this video if you've seen any of my other or if you're interested in seeing any of my other videos please go check those out i'm an r&b artist as well on the rise i sing i dance i write make sure to tap in and check me out on that and i will see you guys next video okay i love you